The Terriers of Boston University began the fifth month of the college hockey season hosting the team that has led hockey East through the first four months, the UMass Minutemen. The visitors wasted no time gaining the advantage with a goal in the game's opening minute. BU matched the UMass marker with one of their own at 6.20 off the stick of Ryan Clunan. The Minutemen regained the lead and extended it to two at 3-1 before the end of the first 20 minutes. BU stormed back to tie it late in the middle stands around a 5-on-3 power play goal by Joel Farabee and a tally by Patrick Curry off of Farabee's setup. UMass regained the lead again 122 later, taking a 4-3 lead to the final period. Once again, it was Patrick Curry providing a game-tying goal early in the third. UMass freshman defenseman Ty Farmer then scored two consecutive goals to give UMass a 6-4 lead with 2.15 left. The Terriers weren't finished as Logan Cockrell followed up a Farabee rush to get the game back to a one-goal margin. UMass added an empty netter, drawing a BU penalty with 15 seconds remaining. Final score, UMass 7, BU 5. The Terriers get on the green line Monday, destination TD Garden, to begin the 67th Beanpot Hockey Tournament versus Northeastern. Face off at 8 p.m. on TSRN. Both teams pushed hard. Both, both teams competed, uh, competed well. They were a good hockey team. We're a good hockey team. And you know, they got the right side, on, uh, the right side of it. You know, they got a couple bounces. Uh, especially that one off the rush off our, off our guy's foot uh, that went into the net. Um, I like the way we bounced back competitive-wise. I thought we were a little sloppy in the D zone at times. Um, I thought a couple of the goals we would have liked to call, you know, uh, that went against us. You know, we would have liked to call for a penalty, but it didn't happen. That's hockey. <laughs>